welcome to another episode of Slaggy Bits. My name is Charlie, I use they them pronouns. My name is Bella, I use their pronouns. The reason people can't hear you is because you're so, you're like... Oh, yeah, God. because if I don't... <laughs> okay, because come on. If Hi. I don't, if I don't, my hair's dripping because I just washed it, so I need to have it over the chair, it's going to drip. Drip, drip, bitch. Another one in the casket. Can't touch. I don't know the words. <laughs> anyway, today, as promised on Instagram, which you can find in our channel description bio thing, we're going to be talking about art. Now, we were a bit hesitant about this episode because we don't know much about it. We just know what our favourite styles are. And Except for the it. fact that you're an art GCSU student. But we're not going to get into that because, my fucking God. Um, yeah, so Bella's favourite art is what? impressionism thanks to my very 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 what the fuck was that i'm not gonna name names but my very 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 gay friend told me what um i was correct they i i told them i'd say that they were very gay you're very gay by the way um and thanks for telling me what it was what is it what is it you haven't actually said what it is it's impressionism which is like real life but blurry it's and studio it's like ghibli studio ghibli which is like i like shit. it House My favourite is Dutch Still Lives because I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really dark and it's all about rotting food and fresh food and shit. So we thought... So it's to like my, an old man and a baby because the baby's are fresh. And the to old my No, not really. To my um, editing expense, we're going to show you pictures of each... Thing we're talking about while we're talking about him. Which I kind of hate myself for, but that's fine. We move. So... Bella's is Impressionism. I thought we were going to do the Dutch still life first. Oh, are we? Who cares? I'm going to do Impressionism. Impressionism. it's prettier. So, oh, we have actual paintings here. No, I want to... Yes. Have... Oh. No, if we look at actual paintings, then we can cite it. And you need okay. to know how important... So the impression... I don't really like that one. That one's not as nice. Sorry, whoever clawed Monet. <laughs> Sorry. That one's really pretty. Le Grenu Yeya. So... <laughs> Shit. When is it from? Le Grenier is it's it? It's an 1869 oil on canvas painting by Pierre Auguste Renoir, now in the National Museum in Stockholm. Stockholm? Syndrome. <laughs> That's actually really nice. It looks like it a is. wedding party. So it's like got. It's like. I like how all the colours blur together. Right, the and the reflection on and the, and water. the water. And like, I like. A lot of impression, a lot of it's in the recording. Yeah. So, a lot of the um, impression of era, impressionism era is around Victorian, like going from early Victorian to late Victorian, which uh, they always look Rococo, like Rococo colours inspired by Victorian I silhouettes. Like the dress. That's what I was talking about. Oh, that my dress has for blue satin sassels. I will hit you. <laughs> and then you got little rowboats, haven't ya? Can the we look at some more impression and photo? Impressionism. How about we look at the Paris street? Paris. That one looks a bit boring. Yeah, it kind of just looks like a bunch. Of I people. want the flowery one. <gasps> Ooh, look. What about what about this one? I like that one. It's called the Cradle by. I hate that. Well, we're gonna talk about it. Fuck off, Amazon. Calm down. It's called the Cradle by. Can I can I see who it's? Uh, by birth. Morizot, <laughs> created in 1872. It's oil paint, obviously. Can we go? Can fine. Can we go on this one that? Has oh, that that one is the Studio Ghibli that vibes. That gives off big Studio Ghibli. Fuck vibe. off, Charlie. Calm mm. down. So this one is called Women, Woman with a Parasol, Madame Monet and Her Son, painted by Claude, Claude Monet. Monet. So a woman with a parasol. Mano Monet and her son, sometimes known as a stroll, is an oil on canvas painting by Claude Monet from 1875. Now this one is a Studio Ghibli one that we were like, <gasps> it's very beautiful and it kind of reminds me of it's got big. <laughs> I read that as figure skater and I was like, are you sure? Anyway, carry on. Anyway, so it, you can see that it's like around 1875 because of the fashion because you can see she has a very 1875 silhouette. I like her parasol. Yes, it's green. You like her green. son looks. Fucking bored as shit. He's kind of just like, Dad, I want to go back inside. Dad, this is so boring. Daddy and Danya. But look at all the Dad! Clouds. Look at the clouds. Look how pretty they are. He looks like he's kind of just. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like in all family photos. 
<laughs> you can't deny it. You can't. As you know, that's our cousin that we were talking about the last time. Also, the last time we spoke about our cousin, um, and we took the piss out of him when he was um, when his voice broke, <laughs> and his mum texted me, and he was, and she was like, um, he's, he's sending... still, he's still saying that he's going to take you to court, and we were like, for defamation. we definitely n- named no names, and she was like, he's going to take de- you for defamation of character. <laughs> Hold on, let me quote like direct. So. Blank is still claiming he's going to sue for defamation of character. And then I said, I thought we named no names. It was all in good fun. He He says he'll see you in court. court. (laughs) We love you, I swear. But, like, that kid looks like him. Like, (laughs) all family photos just standing there. Like, or the older one when he was a kid, just fucking there, like... (laughs) All that one picture of me, of our older cousin holding, he, we made cupcakes, remember that photo? And I was wearing a Hello Kitty. Oh my God, And he's about yes. to eat his, and I'm just standing there like... <laughs> just standing there like, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> this is just... How long have you been talking? Okay, you've got one more minute. Okay, can we go on to that one? Oh, I wanted to look at the cliff one! Do you want to look at the cliff one? No, that one's no, nice. I like the, the trees. Let's look at the cliff one. <sighs> it's called The Cliff Walk... Poorville. That sounds awfully British. By Claude Monet again. Monet. Monet. You sound so fucking British. Monet. Currently resides at the Art Institute of Chicago. Do I sound posh now? Sorry. No, you just sound like an old man with no dentures in. (laughs) I shouldn't make fun of that. That joke was distasteful. The Cliff Walk at Poorville is an 1882 painting by the French impression of painter Claude Claude Monet. 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 It's Oil on canvas, genre pastoral. What the fuck does that mean? That sounds a bit wanky. <laughs> <laughs> wanky. Like a like <laughs> Okay, I think it's my turn now. It's my turn, motherfuckers. Okay. What are we going to talk about? Wait, we should keep that up so oh, that shit, we can, yeah. like, g- go So back. my favourite art style are still lives um, that are Dutch from... 1600s. From the 1600s, from the 17th century. They're just gorgeous. And very depressionist. Huh? Depressiony. I think they're beautiful. The. Hold on. Let me find. Okay. Come on. Like, oh my god. Is so, the one with the pearl earring a Dutch still alive? Um, I don't think so. Is it just a bunch of fruit and like raw meat? Yeah, That's it's like fucking raw. Look at how no, it's gonna be like cured meat. So this was a time when, um, like all of the like exotic kind of Oriental shit was coming to Europe in the 1600s. Oh, and everyone saw it. It's really it's like pineapples, and pineapples and watermelons and cantaloupes. Shit. Hold on, let's kind of cantaloupes because you can't eat them. You can't. It's like a lots of Dutch shit. Like the butter, you got butter, and you got cheese and an artichoke. Like it's just so cool. And then there's one that I really like. See, look, if you look at that one, this one's by Wilmen Kaff. Is... And it's called a still life with a Chinese bowl and Norse tillers cup and fruit from In 1662. 1662. And look, so you have a lemon here that's been peeled and this beautiful oriental dish with these two ladies on the front. And then it's got like a dragon goblet. Cup thing. It's got a dragon on it. It's so fucking cool. I really like dragons. There was a dragon in the third film of Narnia. I will slap you. It it was Eustace. He turned into a dragon. This one is really famous. What's it called? Oh, come on. Still life with the moor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's it called? Still Life with More and Porcelain Vessels by Jurian von Streeck. And it's estimated to be painted around 1670 to 1680. It's just... I mean, that is obviously a slave. Yeah. Unfortunately. But still, I think... Why can't I zoom in? Motherfucker. We've got oysters, I think, down here. More More peeled peeled fruit. fruit. More oriental vases and shit. A weird veil in the mm. background. And a thing that's common with Dutch Still Lives is they have a massive, like, big set-up feast and a really dark background. It's always a really dark it's background. It's like Dracula's dinner. It's so... 
That's what it's I would so call cool. it. It's so cool. I would not call it Dutch Doll. I'd call it Dracula's See, Dinner. See, that one's cool. That one's of an actual Girl woman. reading a letter by an open window from 1659 by Johannes Verimir. And can I tell you something about that? Mm -hmm. You can tell that it's 1659 because of what? Her hairline. Did you know that in... It doesn't exist. No, but in the era of those like times, um, so one woman actually, it was quoted that she wanted her hairline to be plucked so she looked like an egg. I can't make it bigger. Just deal with it, Charlie. <sighs> You can tell the architecture. Oh, there we go. It's just gorgeous. And so in detail as well. Mm. Like, it's after the Renaissance. Like, like literally. you zoom in and you can still see everything that's going on. It's so cool. Oh, look. Now there's a Wikipedia page. That's the shit I like. She looks like... Hold on, go up. She looks like she just stole someone's cheese and got away with it. That's so weirdly specific. <laughs> Gypsy girl. 1628 to 30. Oil on wood. Fucking love an oil on wood. I like her... By like, Franz Haas. I like the colours in her mm. blouse. It's been a while to say. Why? Because I didn't know what I was saying. I was a bit confused. Oh, fair enough. Oh, there's a naked lady. <laughs> <laughs> she has boobies. <laughs> Can I just say, in any painting, in any art movement before, like, the 19th century, before, actually, no, the 20th century, you will find at least... A few paintings of naked women or men. Oh, tell you what else is from that kind of era with the same kind of style. The Sistine Chapel. <sighs> Let's have a look at the Sistine Chapel, shall we? Fuck's sake, Wikipedia, fuck off! Could you steal the Sistine Chapel ceiling? No, because it's the ceiling. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no. Let's have a look at the pictures of the Sistine Chapel. What art movement is like, the Mona Lisa Oh my from? fucking god. Like I said, it's just a bunch of like naked, naked people saints reaching and out people for each other. Angels. Reaching shit. out for each other. I was very lucky enough to go last August to the Sistine Chapel and I've never been to Rome before. But when we went there was to Rome. absolutely no one in there. So if you look at this picture, there's so many people in there. Because you went during COVID. What'd you just call it? Covid. Covid, yeah. Like, look at the amount of people. The Pangea. Like, we went and Does there anyone was... actually pray in there anymore? Because no, it's just brilliant works of art. Like, look at that. It's like a bunch of naked people. There's a bunch of naked angels and saints and shit. Holding out for each other. Isn't it? Right. It's cool. What art period is the Mona Lisa from? Um, Come on, Charlie, I'm testing your... Yeah, go on a new tab. Yeah, I was going to. I'm testing your skills as an art student. That Careful. wasn't me. I'm pretty sure it's Renaissance. Aha! Motherfucker! So the Mona Lisa, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If I legally, like, if it was for sale, if I legally bought the Mona Lisa, like, paid for it, it's in my possession... Could anyone stop me from eating it? Probably. Do you think there are laws against it? Probably. You see, I don't like Baroque music, but Baroque art, it just hits a different spot, it does, you know? because it's just a bunch of naked people. Naked ladies. With dogs in the background. And, oh God, that the baby. Dog's like that. He's holding on to The dog's like, what the fuck? I kind of like Renaissance art as well. It's not my favourite, but it comes as a close second. Mm. It's just... Can we look up Renaissance art? Like, what the fuck? Can we look up some Renaissance art? Oh, how long have we got left? Oh, shit, we gotta go. Oh, Unfortunately, God. we've had to take our podcast down to um, 15 minutes because I'm not paying five quid a month to become a Spotify artist. No, thank you. Sorry. But anyway, we hope Sorry. you've enjoyed. Yeah, we hope It was a bit enjoyed. boring because we were very unprepared and... I thought that we were quite entertaining. But that's maybe just what my friends are telling me because they like to hype me up. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. We'll be back next week. I'm actually doing an episode with other child next week. Musical oh. theatre. So but look wait, out wait, for wait, that. For the week after that, can we do an episode Quickly. on historical fashion? Sure. Anyway, we got to go now. Bye! Bye.